Hello from the book question, this is I, Aaron the book question. Today I introduce you to this almighty book, Floors by Patrick Carman, New York Times best-selling author. Well, why, why, well, look, this seems to be an elevator. But, an elevator from where? You're about to find out. Here we go. Whippet Hotel is is one uh, stands on a giant piece of land, an entire town square, but its size is not even close to the size of the town of the, the piece of land that it sits on. But and but it is it was after all made by the great Mojanza Whippet. Who, whose father told him, but with his with his dying breath, said that Mujanza would would exceed in the field of wacky inventions, and the Whippet Hotel was made. Whippet Hotel is full of rooms, rooms that has holograms that that looks like look so real that you think that you're gonna get killed. There is a haunted one. With robots that seem like spiders, and robots that seem like slugs, and so much more. And I could I could go on and on. The cake room, the robot room, the giant ping pong, the giant ping pong machine room. Well, well, well. But we are here to talk about the main character, Leo Fillmore. He is after the. the The maintenance man's son, and she knows a thing or two about Whippet Hotel. But what? And、uh, one day, when he was coming down with the with the duck elevator, and yes, there is a duck elevator. Plus, Magenta Whippet adores duck ducks. And one day, and then he finds a box, a box that had a note in it, and that note said, basically said, I mean, I didn't memorize it. It basically said that number one, he had to save Whippet Hotel. He had to find four boxes, and when when going to find a box, always bring a friend, or a duck, or both, and and um and this character Leo Leo Fillmore finds a friend, all right, named Remy, who become who becomes the door boy. And the slightly evil Miss Sparks, who is who is the desk manager, is like, what、well, obviously wants to fire everyone in this hotel, and she also is rather very annoying. And Leo and Remy goes on expeditions with with a duck named Betty again and again, and they find one by one the boxes. Bought four boxes that lead one clue to another, and the last box said that to come to the thirteenth floor. But there was no thirteenth floor. Why? But of course, what what hotel had more than twelve floors? Oh no, it had much more than that. I mean, there are so many secret floors that you can't even imagine, and the thirteenth floor was only accessible with the duck elevator. And with the duck elevator, Leo Fillmore finally saw it. Leo Fillmore finally went to the thirteenth floor. There he met a man. There he met. He saw the gardener, Mr. Phillips, who gave him the silver card. Whoa, silver card! Wow. What? Which means that he technically owns the hotel right now. And another man named Milton, Milton, said that he would give him, him Leo, a, a lot of money for the hotel. And you know what Leo Fillmore said? He said no. He said he loved the hotel and will not sell it to anyone if he owned it. And and the law and the and another man, 
A man with a long red coat said, "Yes, Leo, you passed." And he flung off his disguise, and he was none other than Merjan the Whippet himself. And Merjan the said, "This Merjan the meant that this was kind of a test, a test to see who would inherit the Great Whippet Hotel." And Leo Fillmore had passed, and now the Whippet Hotel belonged to him. One of the first things that Leo Fillmore did as as the owner of the Whippet Hotel was to fire Miss Sparks, and Miss Sparks was super annoying, and she tried to frame people just because she didn't like them, and so and so and so, and now was her out of the picture, and the Whippet Hotel became a nice happy place, and also. I Whippet Whippet Hotel and its owner, Mr. Whippet, um, very much reminds me of another book, another particular book, Willy Wonka. You that name rings a bell, Charles Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. It has a very wonderful factory full of mischief and mayhem, just like the Whippet Hotel. And its owner is the infamous Willy Wonka, who is, I think, very much like Majan the Whippet. And both are insanely good books. But here, 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 I'm about. To, I'm here to talk talk about this book, and it's the greatest book ever. And someday, when you're feeling sad, this book will cheer you up in no time. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester.